the Iroquois chase. Then next up, Percy Warner Park. This is all we've been waiting for all week, isn't it? The return of G.I. Joe. The top one is Old Lang Syne for Ryan Tamasevi. Flashpoint and G.I. Joe, both for Leon Van Rensburg. Master of Time, Joshua Sutherland. Plague Runner or Craig Allen. Plyne, Lukey Martin Leadham. Rampant Lion, Alex Cherry. Ultra Cool, Graham Clitable. Alger Flyer, Martin Leadham. Glad All Over, David Robertson. Griffin Guest, Darren Thompson. Harold Bold for Ryan Costello. Kerry's Girl, John Morgan. Sheila Sithron for Darren Thompson. And Whitstar May. Him for Alex Cherry, all called in then, and away we go in this Grade One chase at Percy Warner Park, and Old Lang Syne has gone into the lead and gets over the first, which they all successfully negotiate. They've got 23 more to take, and they're already at the second of them. And as they all get over that one, okay, we can see that Old Lang Syne. They're going to settle down into the lead then now. With Kerry's good in the pale blue jacket is second. Then Sheila Citron closest to us is in third. Right over on the far rail is ultra cool. As they go past that little intersection. And luckily nothing went the wrong way. And they take this funny turn into this next fence. And Old Lang Syne is the leader. Gets over it nicely. And all over it well. With Old Lang Syne in front by about two. Then ultra cool is in second. Kerry's girl is third. Griffin Quest is next. They're all pretty tightly packed, with the exception of the leader, who's got a good two-length lead. Coming down to the fourth. And over that one they go, with the back marker now, Wichstar Mayhem. Already at the fifth, the fence is pretty close together. Good test of jumping this. Fences might not be quite as stiff as the ones in England, but they still take some jumping, and they come pretty close together quite a lot of the time as well but it's old Lang Syne who's opened a good four length lead up there to Ultra Call in second and then Kerry's Girl is third Plague Runner is next Alger Flyer in the orange jacket is fourth then comes Griffin Guest Plyne Lukey in the red rum colours trying to get a little bit closer as well Glad all over in the turquoise and maroon hoops as they get to the sixth which they all successfully negotiate again with Sheila Citron now dropped to the back as they take this ditch which again they're all over it but a bit of a shoddy jump by flashpoint at the back looking out for gi joe he's just sat towards the back at the moment mid division really towards the back of the middle of the field if this could be such a thing as they get down to the eighth and they're all successfully over that one as well then jumping well now old lang syne in the lead clear from plague runner in second then griffin guest is third and kerry's girl is four alger flyer is fifth as they come past the winning post with a couple more circuits to go Old Lang Syne in the lead. Ryan Tamasevi's already taken the first two group races. Can he make it three out of three? Most of the eyes will be on G.I. Joe, though, and expecting him to carry on where he left off last season as they get over the ninth. And Old Lang Syne's in the lead at the tenth. Oh, and he's gone, that one there. There's a fall, a Griffin guest has gone. Took a bit of a lunge at it, and Jockey had no chance of staying on board. But Old Lang Syne is still the leader. Plague Runner is second. Ultra Cool is third. Alger Flyer is fourth. Then comes Glad all over. G.I. Joe getting much closer now. Then comes Flashpoint and Pline Lukey on the inside. Looking towards the back. It's still Sheila Citron and Wickstar Mayhem as they get to the 11th. And they're all over that one okay as well. With Old Lang Syne still the leader. Led pretty much all the way so far. Leads by a good five lengths to Alger Flyer who's just poked ahead in the second. In between the David Robertson and Drag Allen horses as they take the 12th, and that's the midway point in the jumping. Then Old Lang Syne's lead down to three lengths, and as they take that one, good jump on the outside there by Glad all over. And Alja Flyer as well. Then comes Master of Time, who's getting much closer. Then Flashpoint, who's picked up as well on the outside of Stable Companion G.I. Joe, with Ultra Cool just tucked in between the two of them. But it's Old Lang Syne still in front. Led all the way so far. Alger Flyer three lengths back in second. Then Glad all over and Master of Time together as they come to the 14th. And a bit of a mistake there by Master of Time. Sheila Citron's also struggling a bit at the back as they take that ditch. And they're all safe near with that one. Sheila Citron jumped that one much better. But it's Old Lang Syne who's in the lead. Glad all over his second. Ultra Cool is third. Alja Flyer is four. And then Master of Time and Plague Runner. Then Flashpoint and G.I. Joe together. The stable mates. And the leader was down on his nose there. The first mistake he's made so far. 
And it's old Lang Syne still in the lead though, but only by about a length and a half. Now they're queuing up behind to take him on there. Glad all over, Master of Time, Alger Flyer past the winning post. One more circuit to go. And it's old Lang Syne in the lead from Master of Time. Glad all over. Then Alger Flyer. Here comes G.I. Joe now coming through with a run. Then Ultra Cool. Kerry's girl just lost his place a little bit. Flashpoint is in the middle of a plaque alongside Plain Lukey. Plague Runner's also dropping back as Sheila Citron tries to make a little bit of ground. Rampant Lion is next as they get over the 17th. The back marker now is Harold Bold, but it's Old Lang Syne in the lead as they get to this next one. Over that one they go. Malja Fly made a bad mistake there, and it's Old Lang Syne in the lead. Old Lang Syne leads by about two lengths to G.I. Joe, who's beginning to move through into second. Glad all over his third, then Master of Time, and then Ultra Call and Flashpoint and Kerry's Girl. Then Witchstar Mayhem getting much closer as well. Then Plain Lukey. Alja Fly has dropped right out of it after that mistake. Old Lang Syne comes to the 19th, gets everything in. Mistake there by David Robertson's glad all over. And Old Lang Syne is two lengths clear then of G.I. Joe and Stablemate Flashpoint. Then after that one comes Master of Time and Witstar Mayhem. Then Kerry's Girl is next. They come down towards the 20th. And over that one, Old Lang Syne got over it nicely and got away from it well. At the 21st then now. And they're all safely over that one with Old Lang Syne in the lead. G.I. Joe. Poised in second, but about three or four lengths down then as they race towards the final three furlongs and the final three jumps. And it's Old Lang Syne in the lead, as he has been all the way so far. Three lengths clear of G.I. Joe in second. Flashpoint is third. Master of Time is fourth. Look at this witch star mayhem coming through to challenge on the outside. They get to the third last and over that one. It was Old Lang Syne, but G.I. Joe is getting closer. This is the second last, the final ditch. It's still Old Lang Syne in the lead. G.I. Joe is trying to close two lengths down then as they make and wait towards home, they take this sharp turn into the straight, it's a very short one, remember there's just about a furlong to go, and it's Old Lang Syne from G.I. Joe on the outside, Old Lang Syne on the inside, G.I. Joe on the outside, they're over the last, here comes Glad all over, it's Old Lang Syne, G.I. Joe's not getting to him so far, it's Old Lang Syne early, G.I. Joe's trying to close, but it's Old Lang Syne from G.I. Joe, Old Lang Syne needs the line, and he's got the line, and won it, G.I. Joe is second, and Glad all over is third. Pretty exciting finish as G.I. Joe is turned over and Ryan Tamasebi has taken all three of the American group races. G.I. Joe second, glad all over third. It might be a different story come Cheltenham, but the glory today goes to Old Lang Syne. A little bit earlier than New Year as well. So Old Lang Syne the winner for Ryan Tamasebi. G.I. Joe second for Leon Van Rensburg. Glad all over for David Robertson was third. Flashpoint Leon Van Rensburg was fourth. And Whitstar Mayhem ran a massive race for Alex Cherry to finish fifth.